Tämä paikka on Battle Mountain, Nevadassa, Yhdysvalloissa. Viime viikolla siellä pidettiin polkupyörien nopeus maailmanmestaruuskilpailut ja paikalle oli kerääntynyt toista kymmentä yrittäjää ympäri maailman. Voittajaryhmä tuli Hollannista. Nämä polkupyörät eivät ole aivan tavallisia. Kyseessä ovat noja polkupyörät, jotka sinällään jo ovat hyvin aerodynaamisia, mutta kun niiden päälle laitetaan aerodynaamisesti muotoillut kopat, niin sen jälkeen näistä pyöristä tulee varsin nopeita menopelejä. Kuten tästä voittajapyörästäkin nimeltään Velox 3. Sen tekijät ovat siis hollantilaisia, he tulevat Delftin teknillisestä yliopistosta ja Amsterdamin vapaasta yliopistosta. Ja tässä seuraavassa kuvia heidän viime perjantaina tapahtuneesta ennätysajosta. Tiedetuubi pääsi seuraamaan viime kesän aikana pyörän tekemistä ja testaamista Hollannissa ja seuraavaksi mennään suoraan Delftin teknillisen yliopiston unelmalaboratorioon eli Dream Labiin, missä Velox 3 työryhmällä oli oma pieni työpajansa. The project was started about three years ago. Uh, one of our um, uh, schoolmates decided to build a bike uh, which could go very fast on only human power. Uh, and he had seen that the world record holder uh, was a sculpture. Uh, so we figured that if we put a lot of effort and technology from the university into building these kinds of bikes, uh, then it would be possible to, to uh, break that record. Uh, and then he set off the um, uh, recruiting team members uh, and setting up a team. And then now, three years later, uh, here we are with our newest bike. Um, and as you can see, it's very smooth. Uh, so we've designed it uh, in a commuter software to make it uh, with the lowest coefficient of drag as possible. So it's actually designed to have a perfectly laminar flow all the way through here, all the way to up to this point. And up to here it gets a little bit turbulent because you can't avoid turbulency in your uh, design. Uh, and then from all the way down here, it, this is all the laminar part and here it gets turbulent. So the, the flow actually sucks the bike back backwards at this location. As you can see, we have a pretty uh, sophisticated back wheel system. Um, and the reason for that is because we have a pretty small wheel. So it makes a lot of revolutions a minute. And the rider still has to, um, yeah, it, could be, it should be able to, to still drive a specific cadence because at a recumbent bicycle, the optimal cadence is about 90. So you have to go about 90 rotations a minute and then that should give the optimal power output. So that should be linked to the stop speed you would like to reach. So that's why there is an, um, a gear in the, in the hub, just to make sure that the ratio between the cadence is matched to the speed of the, of the wheel. Yes, we are with 15 students and um, you, as you can imagine, it's, it's partially uh, about aerodynamics. So we have a lot of people from aerospace engineering involved in the project. Uh, and also half of the team is uh, mechanical engineering or the mechanical parts in the bike. And then for all the things that uh, are concerned for the runner, so training schedules, feeding, um, all that sort of, of, of things, uh, that, that's be do been done by the University of Amsterdam. Free University and they study movement science and they'll, they're all in charge of creating the perfect time schedule and, and feeding and also cooling and the inside conditions of the bike while driving. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, on the normal recumbent bike, uh, yeah, you're, you're open on, on the bike, so you have a lot of movement with your upper body. Uh, in this bike, you can only move your, your legs and a little bit your hands, and for the rest, you're strapped in. Strapped in yeah. And um, yeah, the environment is also a lot different because it's in this bike, it's, it's dark, it doesn't have any windows. And uh, you can only look to the front because your head is fixed. So you cannot move to the side, you can only look to the front. Uh, but that's no issue because you're only going straight ahead, so that's easy. So in the first year we had a window, uh, but the window was very in front of the bike. So we have, first you have to look through the bike and then you can look outside. But uh, between your eyes and the window are your legs. And on the right side you had the drivetrain. So you couldn't look through the right side. And on the left side, sometimes a leg came in front of your side. So you only could see 50% of the time. And with this combination, you have your screen right in front of your face. So you can always see the whole road without any legs coming by or drivetrains uh, in your side. Uh, the main thing, you only have a, a steering angle of five degrees. So right from the beginning, you have to really steer straight and you cannot steer very much. So you really have to be confident uh, in riding uh, to ride this bike. Uh, most of the people involved in the project have um, yeah, I've stopped their studies just to, uh, to build a fast bike because in the university you have a lot of theory uh, and now it's also fun after a couple of years of studying to, to put the theory in practice and actually build something. So it's actually the, the funnest part of, of designing something is, a, is done here and not in university.